Preston Physics, Grade 11, Waves and Sounds, Note 9, The Human Ear. To start out, you're going to want to draw a diagram something like shown. This is representing the human ear. To start with, we're going to look at the outer ear. And the main part of this is the auditory canal. Now the next thing we're going to look at is the middle ear, and the only thing we really need to know about that is that's where the eardrum is. Okay, and now attached to the eardrum on the inner ear are the hammer, anvil, and stirrup. This is the first part of the inner ear. There are three small bones that are used for sound amplification. Now these three bones make a vibration in the cochlea. And this is a snail-shaped organ that's filled with about 22,000 little hairs that resonate at unique frequencies. This is what sends the sound down our ear. We then have the auditory nerve, and this takes the signal from the cochlea and sends it to the brain. This is what allows us to hear. The next thing we're going to look at are the semicircular canals. Now they're like a level for your body. There's a small bubble in each of these canals and it's used for balance. If you think of a level on a wall, it's the exact same principle and this is why we get dizzy when we spin around. That bubble moves and it's in the in inappropriate spot for us to stand still and we get dizzy. The last thing we're going to look at is the eustachian tube. Now this is used for pressure equalization and it's connected to our nose and throat. This is when you go up really high or go down really low and you have to pop your ear so that your head doesn't hurt anymore. You're equalizing the pressure using the eustachian tube. The question associated with this note is number 20 from your yellow duotang. 